Welcome to week three of Stay Strong in September. It's very easy to fall into a bit of a rut with the things that we pray about regularly and just be doing the same things day by day. I found it really helpful to make a list with the different days of the week and a couple of things next to each day that I'm then prompted on that day of the week to be praying for. And they might be things like uh, ministries I'm involved with, family members, uh, organisations I support, and other people, po politicians, government, all sorts of things like that. Uh, if that's a helpful way for you, then uh, why not try something like that and bring some variety into the things that you're praying about for. So it's not just about you and your immediate needs, but think about the bigger things going on around the world. We'd love you to be praying regularly for the things going on in our church, for its ministries, for the people we're trying to reach who are lost in the community, are all fantastic things to have you praying for regularly. Before we go into today's passage, let's pray. Lord God, thank you that we can speak to you about all kinds of things going on in our world. Help us to put thought and effort into uh, praying diligently for many different things. And we pray as we read your word now that we might hear and understand what you have to say to us today. In Jesus' name, Amen. We're reading from 2 Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 3 to 17. But we ought always to thank God for you, brothers and sisters, loved by the Lord, because God chose you as firstfruits, to be saved through the sanctifying work of the Spirit and through belief in the truth. He called you to this through our gospel, that you might share in the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. So then, brothers and sisters, stand firm and hold fast to the teachings we passed on to you, whether by word of mouth or by letter. May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who loved us and by his grace gave us eternal encouragement and good hope, encourage your hearts and strengthen you in every good deed and word. We've been chosen by God. What good news that he has picked us to be part of his family and his servants. Are there things that you can be seeing and identifying and thankful to God for where you seem at work in other people at church, Christian friends? Uh, what great things to thank God for and to encourage them with that you can see God at work in their life. Are there areas where you are tempted to drift from the Bible's teaching? Areas you find the Bible's teaching really challenging to accept and follow? Then think about ways you can grow in those areas and in your trust in God in those matters. If you want some additional help, then please talk to myself or Phil and we'd love to pray with you about it and give some other suggestions on practical steps you could do to keep standing firm and holding fast to what God teaches us. Let's pray. Father God, thank you that you are alive and active and at work both in us and people around us and in our church. We rejoice that we can see changes happening and we pray that that work will continue in ourselves and others, that we will be becoming more and more like the Lord Jesus Christ. Help us even this week to be growing. In, we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.